Okay, I don't know if this thing's working or not, but I'm going to attempt to, attempt to do some uh, French onion soup tonight. This afternoon, whatever the hell this is. <coughs> Pardon me. Right here, I got five onions I got sliced up. And I'm going to throw them in the skillet, a little olive oil and some butter. And just let them uh, sweat down and brown up a little bit. I've got my skillet on just under a medium heat. It's going to take a few minutes for these to cook. So... I'll come back and show you what we're going to do next, if this thing is even working. It's a real simple thing. I, I, I need uh, onions, butter, olive oil, salt, pepper, a little bit of uh, thyme, and some beef stock, and a little red wine. That's pretty much all you need. Oh, you're going to need some gray or cheese to finish it off. But that's a while down the road yet. So Let me get the onions in a skillet, and I'll show you what we're looking like when uh, they get start getting brown and stuff. Okay, if this thing is working, uh, I got my onions in the skillet. I'm going to look down here. See, find a skillet. Find a skillet, Keith. Find a skillet. There we go. I got five onions in there. That's what that is. And, uh, funny enough, put some fresh cracked jack in here. A lot of onions. You're going to need a lot of pepper. Like I say, we're going to add uh, beef stock to this later. So you'll need pepper for that too. Put some salt in here. Coarse ground sea salt, about a teaspoon, maybe a little more. That'll help him uh, onions reduce down a little bit. Give it a quick toss. And uh, just let that go for a while. This is probably going to go, uh, I'm going to say 20 minutes probably, maybe longer. Just the onions get nice and brown. Uh, we don't want to burn them. We just cook them real slow <coughs> and uh, let them get nice and caramelized. Bring all that sweetness out of there. And uh, I'm going to drink some beer. So, there you go. I'll be back when the onions are ready. Sure, what's next? Okay, I think this damn thing's working. I don't know. It may not be. Anyways, I'll show you what we're doing now. Get down on there. Come on. Get on there. Uh, you see the onions are starting to turn collar a little bit. And uh, I guess just got this going real slow here. Uh, my burner goes from low to high with uh, two to eight in between. And I've got it at about two and a half. I just want to cook this real slow. But now I'm going to put a little bit of thyme in here. Not a lot. Just a little. If I can get it open. Come on, get out of there. I'm about out of time. About out of time, damn it. That's probably, uh, I don't know, eighth of a teaspoon, maybe a fourth of a teaspoon, maybe. Crush it up a little bit and just put it in there. Mix it about and let this keep cooking. It really is a simple dish. Uh, it just it's kind of time consuming, but it's it, it's a real simple dish, and it's a really good one, especially if you like onions. So we're gonna let this cook, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, uh, I got my onions about where I want them now. I hope you can see that. Can you see that? I think you can. Anyways, they're about where I want them. They've been on here about 30 minutes or so. So now what I'm going to do is put just a little bit of flour in here. Maybe a half a teaspoon or so. Half a tablespoon, I'm sorry. About a half a tablespoon of flour. And then give that a good mix. Cook this for a minute or so. Get that flour taste out of there. A lot different when I'm cooking by myself than with Karen in it. Ain't near as much fun. But we do what we do. We just mix that around a bit. I 
I'm going to add some wine to this, some red wine. I'm going to use burgundy because that's normally what I have in the house. You could use cognac, or you could use brandy, uh, probably just about any kind of red wine probably except uh, Boone's Farm or Ripple. But I'm going to use burgundy tonight. wine in there. We'll turn the fire up and reduce that a bit. Simple cook, y'all. Simple cook. And now, what we got to do now is add some beef stock and let this simmer for about 20 minutes. And that's about all you got to do to it, really. So, let's put some beef stock in there. Well, I had 32 ounces until I dumped some on the stove. Anyways, that was what we were doing. Now I gotta clean the damn mess up. Let's say 31 ounces, minus the ounce that I spilled on the stove there. So, I'll bring this up to temperature, then I'll turn it down and I'll just let it simmer. Probably about 20 minutes. And then we'll uh, show you the next thing we do. Come on, just off of there. Make some more mess. Oh, hell yeah. So, there you go. Be back in a few. Okay, I, uh, I brought this up to temperature and I turned it down just to simmer it. But just from the smell alone, uh, I know it's going to need some what's this here sauce. So I'm going to just put a little bit of what's this here sauce in there. About that much right there. That should be enough. And uh, we'll mix that about and just let it simmer for about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. We'll be back, see what happens. Okay, my soup's done. Uh, this part of it anyway. <clears throat> uh, can you see that? Let's see if I can't uh, do something here. Move the damn camera, Keith, you dumbass. Get over there. I can't do this one-handed. I'm like an idiot. Anyways, there's my suit. Deal with it. So, what I gotta do now is I gotta put some in the cup here. And I hope this uh, cup don't break on me in the oven. Because we gotta stick this under the broiler and melt some cheese. So we'll put some soup in here. That'd be enough because I gotta make supper later. Well, in a minute. Put some gray or cheese down in there. Uh, I really like to cover the lid with it. You'd have to have it uh, full up, but I ain't gonna fill it all the way up. I'm just going to stick in a broiler, see what happens. We'll be back in a couple of minutes, see if my uh, cup breaks on me or not. Be back. Okay, now, I, ideally, you would want to fill your vessel, whatever you got, cup, bowl, whatever, ramekin. You'd want to fill it to the top and then put the cheese on it. Uh, some people put croutons or bread, toasted bread on top. And then the cheese, uh, I don't care to do that. I'm getting hungry and I gotta cook supper. That's a whole nother two hours of cooking I gotta do. So I'm just gonna eat this for a snack and, and uh, that's what I ended up with. Uh, let me get in a picture here. Get in a picture, damn it. Get in a picture, soup. There we go, there, there's my soup. Got the cheese in there. And uh, yeah, you got to use Gruyere or Swiss. You can't use no cheddar or mozzarella for this dish. 
Yeah, you know, some toasted bread would be nice, but I ain't got time for all that. I got stuff to do. So give this a try. Because it's hotter than hell and I'm hungry. Oh, hell yeah. French onion soup. So, that's what I did this afternoon. Tonight I'm going to play on another recipe. And, uh, we'll see what happens. So, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Because I've been wanting some soup. Some fresh onion soup. So, like I say, I don't know if this thing recorded today or not. We'll find out later. Uh, I may try to go ahead and uh, film my next deal here. I don't know. It's going to be a simple thing too. But uh, just another one of them time consuming things. So, that's what I did today, man. And uh, y'all have a good one. And uh, we'll see you next time.